All right, let's set up launch control. So over here on boost advanced tab, come down to launch control and we need to turn it on in Tuner Studio. So this makes it active. So let's go to launch control and flat shift and input pin. This depends on how you wire it into the ECU. You can use the available pins here. Let's say we have spare ADC in a micro squirt and the launch hard limit. This is the RPM you want to launch at. So let's say 4000 RPMs. That's where you want to launch. That's what the rev limiter will prevent the motor from spinning past. Now your soft limit is how many RPMs before the hard limit will this launch control sequence start to take place. So 100 RPMs, that'll give you a hard limit that bangs really quickly on the limiter and like 400 will be a lot softer. It'll slowly work its way up to the 4000. Degree retard to, this is what degree uh, the ECU will retard the ignition advance to in order to slow down the motor. So usually above zero you get a little bit less aggressive launch control and then when you get into the negatives like negative 10 degrees uh, after top dead center that's when you get a lot of the pops and bangs and uh, good sounds associated with launch control. And at what throttle position percentage will this become active. Uh, let's say you put in 30%, that means when you trigger the input pin with your clutch or a button and have your throttle pass 30%, this will all start to take place. You'll have your launch control sequence beginning. Um, then you have your limiter method. This is spark, spark, and fuel, and fuel cut. Spark cut only is the most aggressive. This is where you get a lot of uh, the flames and bangs because it's still injecting fuel into the motor but cutting the sparks. You have a lot of unburnt fuel in the exhaust and turbo and manifold and everywhere and when the spark comes back in it tends to shoot a good flame. Um, then less aggressive would be your fuels and your spark and fuel cuts if you want both of those. And then down here, we've got flat shift. So if you redline at 6,000 RPM and you want to shift wide open throttle without lifting off the accelerator at 6,000, that's your hard limit. Then uh, the arming RPM, at what RPM is the flat shift active above? And you can set that for like maybe 5,500 here. That means after 5,500, if you put in the clutch and hold the pedal down, it's going to stop the motor at 6,000 and you can shift wide open throttle. It will retard the timing and uh, use the limiter to keep it at 6,000. And here it gives you the same as above, it gives you the option to limit using timing retard. So you can go like positive or if you want it aggressive between the shifts, I don't know, give it 10 just like above. And that's pretty much it. You can mess around with these, uh, change how aggressive your limiter is depending on how big your turbo is and how you like it to sound and launch. And that's basically it. There's not too much. If you'd like to go just launch control, remove the flash shift, and there you go. Now you just have launch control. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.